What is going on, everybody? My name is Pete, and you guys are watching Paid to Drive and Pay to Drive Vlogs. Hope you guys are doing fantastic out there. If you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you, my friends, are in the right place to stay up to date with what's going on in the gig economy. So get started right now for free. Hit that red subscribe button down below. Turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And if you wouldn't mind, hit that like button down below. Just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. In fact, leave a comment right now saying liked just so I know you did it and let's jump into it. Uh, I just want to give a shout out here to Brittany Cervantes for sending this in. Different perspective on stuff here with uh, the gig economy. So listen to this. She goes, hey Pete, everyone has been talking about the customers scamming food apps to get free food. This is true. But nobody's talking about the drivers that are scamming as well. I'm very disappointed. I work for DoorDash in the Lewis Clark Valley and have for about two years. Everybody in the chat or the comments put how long you've been working and where you work. I'll give you a second to do that. I'm a top dasher and I work really hard to provide customers with great service. I have built relationships with the employees at various restaurants in the area and my regular customers, so I'm super bummed this is happening now and I wanted people to know about it. Uh, I went to pick up an order Saturday night and the merchant asked to look at my phone. Kind of weird, but okay. Then another order later that night, the merchant, a different one, asked again to look at my phone. I then asked him what was going on and he told me that dashers have been scamming for free food. I didn't understand how this was possible because we have, we have to know the customer's name and the order ID number. But I did some research and found out that dashers have been taking screenshots of the order information, then canceling their order, then proceeding onto the restaurant and picking up the order to keep it for themselves. Wow. Nice, right? Anyways, figured you and other self-respecting delivery drivers would like to be aware of this information. Go ahead and share it if you'd like. P.S. I totally get what you mean by it didn't used to be like this. Even just two years ago, everything was so different in the and the in the Dasher world over here, and it's sad how things have changed. So this is news to me. I was completely unaware of this. Have, you, have any of you guys in the chat or in the comments heard about this? Because that is disgusting. Now, believe it or not, as much as this is stealing, right? This is wrong. There's still going to be a few people out there that defend the drivers, and they're going to say. Well, you know, a lot of people are hurting right now for money, which is true, including myself. You know, uh, people need to take care of their families. So stealing food is the way to do it. Because not here's here's where this is so wrong on so many levels. One, it's stealing, right? We've, we can all establish that. Two, you're going to get deactivated from this eventually. It'll probably work a few times and you won't get caught. Eventually you will. Okay, because especially if you go back to that same restaurant to actually pick up an order, the, people may remember you and say, hey, weren't you the one the other day that took somebody's order for yourself? And then they report you to DoorDash, you're gone. Okay, and three, you're screwing up DoorDash, you're screwing up the restaurant, and you're screwing over the customer at the same time who paid for that. Because now what happens is that customer goes hungry because... The next person who goes in to pick up the order is going to say, hey, I'm picking up for John. And they're like, no, that person picked up already 20 minutes ago. They're like, no, I just got this. So this is wrong on so many levels. And any driver, any dasher out there who is caught doing this, you have every right to be deactivated. I'm going to tell you right now, this one I'm not defending drivers on at all, because as as she said, as Brittany was saying, this messes up everything for everybody. And she remembers when it used to be the good old days before we had all this drama and stuff. I understand the pandemic has changed people for the worse in many ways. Um, I don't want to get into that too much, but the fact is this by doing this is going to be a ripple effect. More drivers are going to do it and more drivers are going to do it and then more drivers are going to do it. And then DoorDash is going to start creating more and more rules. So everybody in the comments, everybody in the chat, let me know, okay, 
if you have seen or heard about dashers showing up taking a screenshot of the order that they're picking up for and then they cancel it and then walk in anyway and say the name and then they take the person's food for themselves let me know if you have seen this this is the first that i am hearing of it so Brittany, everyone say thank you to Brittany uh for for sharing this information because absolutely deplorable absolutely deplorable that is the only word i can say for this and like i said i understand some people are on desperate times they're starving they're hungry out there but stealing food like this you you're doing a double whammy it, like i said it's gonna work maybe once or twice three times maybe it'll work 20 times for you but eventually you're gonna get caught and eventually you're gonna get deactivated and i don't know is it, it, this is technically a crime you're stealing technically from doordash and and the customer so Every, I, don't, I don't know the, the legal aspects on this, but is this something that drivers could get arrested for? Let me know in the comments section. I'm curious what you guys think about that. And of course, if you ever have anything you want to share with me, a comment, a question, a topic, a story, an article, whatever it is, be sure to send it to me at paid to drive stories at gmail.com. Also, for a quicker response, you guys can always reach out and message me through Patreon at patreon.com forward slash paid to drive. That link is in the description down below or in the pin top comment. And anyone who signs up as a patron as my way of saying thank you is I give you guys shout outs in all my new videos. And as you can see, there are all the names right here on your screen of our current patrons as of the current moment of this video being made. So huge shout outs to all of them. If you guys want to sign up, links are down below. As I mentioned, who's going to be the next patron? Maybe it will be you. And of course, I hope every single one of you out there is saving lots of money on your gas using the free gas app called Get Upside. The link is in the description down below. Just scroll down this page and click on the link that says Get the Free Gas App. App. It's very simple to use. It'll tell you how to install it on whatever kind of phone, tablet, or device that you have. And then from that point, all you got to do is go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app, and within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Links in the description down below. Make sure to download it today. And finally, for all your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies, visit paidtodrivestore.com. That link is in the description and you guessed it, the pin top comment down below. We've got lots of great new designs, colors, sizes, you name it. We probably have it on sale every day at paidtodrivestore.com. That link is in the description down below and the pin top comment. And of course, if you made it to the end of this video, I'm extremely grateful for all of you. Let me know by leaving a comment in the chat or the comment section below saying end 100, E-N-D 100. Just lets me know you did it. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And if you wouldn't mind it, hit that like button down below. Just lets me know you enjoyed the video and it lets YouTube know that I'm doing a good job. In fact, leave a comment right now saying liked L-I-K-E-D just so I know you did it. And until next time, get that money, get that honey. Keep hustling and keep bustling. And we'll see you next time right here on Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Logs. And as always, drive safe, be well, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.